Dangerous drugs being seized in record numbers and treatment facilities are seeing more people looking for help. News 5's Tracy Carlos with a story you will only see here on News 5. Earl McDonald knows what it's like to hit rock bottom, addicted to drugs and alcohol. He was living in a shelter. A guy in a program saw me sitting on the bed crying and he came and talked to me. And, um, and that guy is my sponsor today. Um, and he kind of gave me some hope and I, I went in the office where I was at and I asked him to find me a treatment center. That treatment center was Stella Morris. He's been sober for almost 11 years, and today he works here helping others. And he worries about others struggling with addiction. You know, every time you take a snort, a shot, or smoke, it's Russian roulette. It's a recipe for disaster. That's because the DEA says the dangerous drugs are being mixed. We continue to see fentanyl mixed with meth, mixed with cocaine, mixed with heroin. These are deadly combinations. DEA special agent in charge Keith Martin told me agents have seized illegal drugs in record numbers. There has been a 60% increase in fentanyl seizures and a 400% increase in meth seizures across Michigan and Ohio. And the number of pills that are made to look like legitimate pain pills but are laced with the powerful drug fentanyl have been seized by the hundreds of thousands. There's a lot of synthetic drugs out there, a lot of synthetic press pills out there um, and they're basically cut with everything and people just have no idea what they're doing. They, they have no idea what they're using. Stella Morris is seeing higher numbers of people searching for help. They just expanded their facility. I thought with the addition of beds that we would have some space. It would, it would free up some space in some other programs and that was not the case at all. The need is so great that every time we expand we're, we're full. And so are other treatment centers. Normally, if we don't have the space here, they're able to find a place in the community that does have space, but that's just not the case lately. A troubling trend that has both police and those like Earl McDonald, who are in the business of helping, concerned. In Cleveland, Tracy Carlos, News 5.